Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Professors of Profit Vlogcast. I'm your host, Dr. F. Scott Field, and I have with me today a very special guest, Dr. Francis Espinola. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a very up and coming side gig and side hustle. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about coaching today. Uh, coaching can be done, obviously, in a lot of ways, right? We can talk about uh, becoming like a sports coach. Uh, CrossFit uh, uses coaching. Um, but one of the bigger movements that we've seen lately, uh, and, and that's why I'm glad I have Dr. Francis Espinola with us today, is life coaching, right? And uh, the way I kind of look at what, what he's doing is more of like a, like a motivational speaker, like somebody to, to help, you know, elevate your, your current status in life. So Francis, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about uh, what it is you're doing today on, on these side gigs and this side hustle mm -hmm. that you're working on, because you're, you're very much like me. You've got multiple yes. side gigs, <laughs> and, uh, and I appreciate prove that. So uh, go ahead and tell us what, what your main gig is that you're working on these days. Awesome. So thank you, Dr. S uh, Scott. Um, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you for inviting me on your show. Um, and the first time I've talked with you, man, I was just blown away because I think that you can really add value to the audience. We are very different. We're both doctor and physical therapist, but we're very different on what we're trying to uh, do, which is, you know, good thing because we're concentrating on our niche. So let me talk about first, I have two businesses right now. So first is the therapy, home health therapy staffing. Uh, we call it First Shepherd Therapy. And, you know, typical home health, visit the patients, you um, invoice the home health agency, and they pay you as a 1099 contractors. And, you know, you can also ask help with PTAs and OTAs um, to follow up the patients. So that's more of my model as a physical therapist. So technically, that's my main one. But right now, I'm venturing out towards, as to what you said, life coaching. So it's very new. Um, life coaching is um, somewhat um, starting to build up its momentum as a profession, probably around 2015. But, you know, as the word coach, anyone can be a coach. I mean, you're talking about a high school basketball coach or a football coach, um, meaning that the, the cool thing about it is just, it's just up and starting and life per se, because when you say life coaching, um, it's talk about, you know, the motivation, making sure that the clients are staying in track on what they want to achieve. So technically, we as the coach don't give them the goal, but we as the coach guide them on their personal goals that they have stated in paper, in writing, so that, you know, they can stay focused and stay accountable with it. So it's more of that concept, and I'm more excited to talk about it more. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head there, right? There, there's a couple of really key points with, with life coaching and coaching in general, right? One, it's accountability, right? Yeah. People need that that you know, swift kick in the pants every once in a while to get up and going, you know, and, and it's, yeah. it's just like, uh, you know, like we talked about a little bit with mm -hmm. CrossFit, right? Uh, you could go to the gym and work out, but some people just won't do that. They actually need to pay a trainer or, or a coach or somebody to, to guide them, right? And, and to give them that accountability, right? Uh, the second point that you kind of touched on there is, you know, the, the coach isn't the one setting the goals and then going out there and implementing, right? The coach is just the guy that like a shepherd, you know, um, I like to think a lot about uh, professional baseball players, for instance, right? They're the best in the world, but they still have coaches, right? So yeah. it's not yep. like an ego thing, right? Yes. They still have coaches, but the coach isn't the one grabbing the bat and going up to the plate to, to there take we go. the at bat, right? They're coaching them. They're giving them tips, pointers, tricks, and outsider's view on what's going on and how they can help to elevate that player to even the next level, right? And okay. we're talking the best of the best, and they, they still have coaches, right? Mm. Um, well, my next question for you then is, okay, so why should somebody like a professor or a healthcare clinician or, you know, so, somebody who's looking to start a side gig, why should they consider life coaching? What, what are some of the pros and the benefits of, of getting into a field like this? Yes. So that's a good question, Dr. Scott. First, let me um, divide life coach from being a life coach and also a certified life coach. Okay, because those are somehow different things. As a life coach, as I said, anyone can be a life coach. There's no governing body per state or countrywide that regulates life coaches. If you think you have something that you can offer to a client that will help him on a specific need, 
that he at, that he or she writes down on paper set the goals with her make her accountable about it then you can do life coach it's all about just putting yourself out there no regulating body and the cool thing about it think about it you can have clients like this on a zoom meeting even out of the state so you're not um, have boundaries for texas or new york you can see clients if they think they are good fit for what you're offering plus life coach is a big umbrella my friend life coach under that you can specialize in career coaching you can specialize in uh, executive coaching meaning you are the advisor of ceos down the road you can also concentrate on um what else wellness coaching so, so that's another thing so you can you know as a physical therapist we can be endorsers of some products you know so no one regulates that unless you are certified by the company so let me discuss now the certified life coach of course coaching is very broad don't get me wrong a dr scott there will always be people out there that you know you will feel like they're doing coaching but it's somewhat not regulated way and we don't want to be how is how would did put that into word dr scott like um I'm just throwing myself out there, but I'm not certified or I haven't done a thorough training or a program to specifically execute um, a program so that the clients can have, you know, engage into it and, you know, hit the goals because technically goals are set three months, six months, one year or five years. So that's how you do it for life coaching because you, you keep them in step of their life goals. Um, if they're a student, they want to graduate in this year. If they're a business person, they want to hit this certain salary, not, not being the financial advisor, but drawing the line. Let's say you will need to draw the line as a life coach if this client needs a dietitian or a nutritionist. That's what being certified is, knowing what your line is about. I mean, I'm a physical therapist, so I can cross that line and give a home exercise program. But if they're talking about I'm having a certain issue like anorexia that i draw the line that i will recommend them to seek professional licensed help and so I that makes you physical yeah. therapists are great for that because we we do a really good job of knowing when to refer out i think there you go there you go you now you transferred your clinical decision making for people plus the fact that you know um think about it since if they live in your same state you can run their insurance do some you know whatever model you have cash based there you go you got another <laughs> stream of um uh what do you call income by helping the patient physically and also uh, spiritually and emotionally so there you go yeah i think you know the flexibility that it gives i think uh, you know fortunately and unfortunately a field like physical therapy is is governed by you know uh, a, a larger entity that you know somewhat limits us in ways you know it, it handcuffs us in certain ways uh and that's why you know you you, you talk to people like that are personal trainers or whatever and mm. they, they don't have that those limitations so they yes. can just you know do whatever they want and prescribe well prescribe whatever they want give whatever mm. workout program they want when sometimes you know we as therapists know it may be more harmful to do certain things than others so i think you know, those limitations can, can be tough, but I, I do yes. like the fact that, like you said, our license is based on whatever state we work in. Um, and you don't have to worry about that with life coaching that can be international, you know, that doesn't yes, have exactly. to be, uh, you know, <laughs> just, just in your state. Um, True. But, you know, tell us a little bit, if somebody's thinking about getting into life coaching or they're just getting started, what are some tips and tricks and, and pointers, expert hacks, if you will, that you mm. found uh, that might be helpful to somebody just getting going in, in, in a, a business like coaching? That's a good question, doc, Dr. Scott. Just because I've um, ventured out my, my, the thing, because life coach, I just uh, heard this from a podcast man what's life coach i mean is there a counselor or something but meaning you know the curiosity really engages you to know what they're doing and lo and behold they there is even um life coaching schools now that you know gave you trains you the rope gets you certified um and there are even um what they call this i have a 
program that was endorsed even by the Shark Tank people, you know, that, that show. So <laughs> meaning it's it's a growing field. Um, I heard it's about 2.5 billion um, of what they've earned for the year 2019. So there's something in here. And also what I would say, if you are planning to dig into life coaching, if you see someone that's doing it, why not um, treat them for a coffee or go side along with them, what they're doing. If this is something like a good fit for you on the weekend, on your day off. I mean, you had experience, you learned something new. So it's a win-win. And then you can, you know, uh, set up an appointment. Even you can pay their time just to, let's say what's a uh, hundred bucks. If that will change your life anyway. So um, get, get going with it. And also life coaching, you can get any certifications out there, but it will only give you the knowledge. But if you have like a mentor that will go along with you for the first month or two, because there are two things that you want to, to see in how you can help the patients and also how you can make this, um, you know, profitable, because you don't want to just, you know, put your expertise out there about helping clients, but you also need to find, you know, um, joy in having the profit of it. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be able to put a roof over your head and provide for your family too. You I know? agree. Um, and, and early on, I think it's, it's, you know, pretty common practice. A lot of people, you know, do give away uh, free consulting and free, you know, yes. coaching and uh, that's fine. You know, when you're first starting to kind of, you know, get your reps in and, and try okay. to, you know, figure things out, but, you know, eventually at some point you have to say, all right, I know what I'm doing. I, I know that uh, I have enough value to provide to people, uh, you know, and people will pay for that. You know, they'll, they'll pay for that. And I think that, you know, one of the things too, that you kind of mentioned is these certifications and like, you know, for me, I'm a lifelong learner, right? I, yes. I went, I got my master's in PT, then went on and got my transitional doctorate, mm. then went on and got my EDD for, for teaching and education. Mm. I, I just love learning, right? So, you know, I'm probably the kind of person that's going to pursue a certification just because I like to learn, you know, whether or yes. not it means anything. You know, like you said, I don't think it's here nor there. I think you can, you know, do just fine without a certification or mm -hmm. you can get a certification it really doesn't matter. But, you know, for me, I'm probably going to pursue one just because I, I do enjoy learning and I like, uh, you know, a nice laid out process where I can, mm. you know, kind of connect the dots. But I also think that, you know, from a bigger picture standpoint, again, physical therapy falls right in line you yes. know, because there is a therapeutic aspect to what we do. I can't tell you how many sessions I've had in my many, many years of treating patients where, you know, most of the session was just, you know, therapeutic. Education. We sat there and listened, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and just let them vent for a while. Right. Then we had to come back on the back end and reply to that and, and educate them on, all right, well, here's what, <clears throat> excuse me, here's what you're going through. Uh, you know, here's how I think we could help make it better. Right. All along the while, you're you're working through some exercises, and they're yes. getting through their whole program, and all of a sudden, an hour is done, and you're like, "All right, see you next time," you know. And they're like, "Wow, that was you know much better. I feel, <laughs> I feel good about that." And, and you know, you just coach them through the session. You coach them through a little bit of life and life lessons, and there you, know, you go. <laughs> hopefully, it helped out. The, the fact here's the thing, uh, Doctor Scott. The fact that they want to see you again the next session. It's already an, an approval that you will be good as a life coach. <laughs> right. Exactly. If you can keep people coming back, you'll be just fine. You know. There you go. Exactly. Plus, yeah. hey, you'll have like a coffee meeting and you'll get paid. How's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and, and you know, I like to the you mentioned a couple of really important things at the end of your message there, and I think uh, you know having a mentor is huge, right? Uh, you know, people people are constantly asking, you know, well, what why would I pay for you know a business coach or or a life coach or mm. any sort of coach? And it's like, well, there's there's three major reasons, right? Mm -hmm. The the reason people pay for mentorship is one, they have no clue or just no idea of what they're doing or or where they're going in life, and they need some help, they need some direction, and yeah. they need that accountability, right? Yes. Two is they see somebody doing something they kind of want to do, and they're mm -hmm. trying to learn how to do it through their process. And with a mentor, yes. that speeds up your timeline, right? You find right. a lot of the mistakes that were made, you know, you try to avoid those. Uh, you show, you know, the the right things to do. Here's some things I've done that have worked. Try those. You know, it just speeds up the timeline. And I think the third reason people, you know, will pay for mentorship is just that they see a system that's working and they want to implement their own ideas and processes into that same system, you know, so it, 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 it really makes a lot of sense. And, and the big thing for me with mentorship was just that 
I, I just wanted to try to avoid some of the major pitfalls, you know, and, and really speed up my process. And I think all the mentorship I paid for in life has just been a the investment on myself, which has been huge, and then b you know, has really spent, spent up my, I've still made mistakes. Let's not get mm. that, you know, mm. twisted. I've, I've definitely made a lot of mistakes and, 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 you know, you will too, even if you, you mm. know, have the best mentor in the world, because your journey is going to be a little different and the mistakes that you make are going to be a little different than the mistakes that they've made. Mm. But, you know, hopefully they can help you avoid some of the big and costly ones. And then the ones that you make, you learn from and you, you get better at, and then you pass that information on to your, your clients eventually. So, you know, I, I really do think seeking out mentorship and, and, you know, paying for a coach at some point along the line, no matter what the uh, avenue may be, is a worthy cause. And I think it's, uh, especially nowadays, right, with, with COVID and the pandemic, yes. you know, we need to find some different avenues. We need to find some different outlets, some different ways to, you know, help better ourselves. And, you know, a lot, a lot of free time, a lot of people, you know, sitting at home these days. Uh, you know, some of them just, you know, need a change of pace or swift mm. kick in the tail to get going. Yep. And I think a, a life coach is a great way to kind of to venture into that, that path, if that's something they're looking for, you know, a nice change of pace. Yeah. And most of my clients that I've worked with, like um, when I started really uh, focusing on this business from around October, they find that they have found someone that they can really connect with because me, my wife is not in the medical field. I mean, I love her. But somehow there's always a thing that she might not understand of what I'm doing. So having that um, camaraderie, like more of like a, a friendship type of a, of, a, of a working relationship really builds that trust in there, something to find, okay, I'm looking at this guy. He has done and made, you know, his way out of full-time employment. I want to be like that. So meaning it's, it's saving you time from getting to another business degree by ramping it up, starting your own business, because along the way you learn, you know, I mean, I'm all about academe, but you know, you need to be wise also about the financial stuff so that, you know, you're an advocate. I know Dr. Scott of not being in too much debt or eliminating debt. And that's somehow also a good thing for the coaching because it speeds up really the learning process. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, there's only so much medical jargon you can talk with your buddies, you know, before it kind of, it gets old. And so it's yes. nice to, like you said, kind of let your hair down a little bit and have that, uh, that real communication, you know, I Agreed. think that, uh, goes a long way. Well, yep. Francis, thank you so much for coming on the show today and for educating my, my audience on, on this side hustle and, and mm -hmm. your journey. Uh, I really appreciate it. Where can people reach out to you and find you if they want to learn more information or just want to see what you're up to these days? Yeah, awesome. Um, I'm really more about coaching. Um, I have, as I said, first shepherd therapy staffing, but I have like 30 contractors that helping me. So um, from humble beginnings now, I'm venturing out to this life coaching so that we can um, really get this thing going. Because here's the thing, this is for me, my contribution to the therapy profession for all the changes in the Medicare cuts. You know, they are, most of my clients that are reaching out for me are wanting to venture out because, you know, they have salary deductions coming up or anything just to supplement, you know, their income. And this is a good way um, for it. It's not covered by any medical insurance that you get paid out of the pocket. So meaning um, if you want to reach us out, um, you can co go to drfrancisdpt.com. And I think Dr. Scott will put it on the notes. So that's drfrancisdpt.com. Yep. We'll put all those links in the show notes so everybody can reach you very easily. Francis, thanks again so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing uh, the progress you make over the next several years of your journey. Sounds good. We're looking forward for another session for sure. And I'll share to you what's um, the progress that's been going. Thank you, Dr. Scott. Thank you.